Good evening. Um, today I'd like to do a review of um, a number of products actually. Um, some of them have been reviewed before and others uh, haven't. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll get right into it. So the first thing that I'd like to review is um, the Pelican M600. Now there have been a lot of reviews done of um, the Pelican M800, the Pelican M1000. I don't know if there have been reviews of the black version of uh, the Pelican Sovereign uh, range. Um, the most popular color is uh, the green striped one. And uh, I was actually thinking about getting the green striped one, but um, let's be a little bit different and get the um, black one, although the black one is a bit... Uh, plain compared to the other colors so anyway let's uh, dive uh, right into it now I must say I did not buy this pen for myself I bought it for my wife for her birthday and um, if she lets me I took a video of uh, her unboxing it so that's a real unboxing it was the first time in her entire life for her to see a Pelican um, M600 in uh, real life so let's hope she lets us uh, use that video Anyway, so um, Pelican M600, um, I think the M800 and the M1000s also come in the same box, so you get a nice plain box, and inside that you do get a nice fancy box. Now, um, if you're buying a pin as a present, um, this is... Um, anyway, Please just excuse me, my cat wants to go out the door and she's knocking at me. Yeah. Back. So, if you are thinking about buying a pin as a present, the packaging that this comes in is superb. I mean, score a lot of brownie points. I mean, really, I mean, women tend to love things in nice boxes, so... Yeah, I mean this is very nice. So you get a very very nice box. Now the bottom of this box is uh, it's a cardboard. It looks a little bit. Uh, I mean they're, they're trying to get the wooden feel. And in fact, uh, when she unboxed it, she actually thought this was wooden. So nice Pelican logo. You open it up, and uh, now. The pin did not come like this. The pin actually came inside this pouch, which um, is a plastic pouch, but uh, yeah, it, it feels very leathery. So, and um, you get some nice. Um, I think they've obviously spent a bit of money on these brochures and so on, and. Uh, what else do you get? You get moments of joy. Um, yeah, very nice advertising on uh, the various other pins. So this is the pen that I got, and talk a little bit about that. And uh, it is a little bit difficult to get this bottom bit open. You have to pull with quite a bit of force. And um, oh, inside it. Uh, this is it doesn't come with this pin. I put this pin on top as a joke, but my 10 month old son happened to be there while she was unboxing it, and so yeah, two presents in one, which was uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> so, nothing much inside this, and uh, yeah, very, very nice packaging. Um, I'll do a review of uh, the Karen Dash Lehman. And uh, I mean, the Karen Dash Lehman cost way more than this, I mean, thrice the price, something like that. And um, in comparison, uh, this packaging is three times as nicer as um, the Karen Dash Lehman packaging. And this pen cost three times as less, um, go figure. But, uh, yeah, so I'll talk a little bit about the pen. Um, There we go. Now, why did I buy this pin compared to the M800 or the M1000? Now, 
I have not physically held an M800 or an M1000, but just about everyone who's reviewed the M1000 says that unless and until you're a six foot something tall rugby player who can bench 100 kgs, like, you know, 50 reps, no problem. The M1000 would be for you. I mean, for most of us average folk, um, the M1000 is just way too large a pen. I mean, it, I mean you could just get fatigued using the pen. So, um, for most people, it's either the M600 or the M800. I mean, the M800 would have been okay, but the M800 is uh, significantly more expensive than the M600 and... Uh, they share basically the same nib and the only difference is size so and uh, my wife is not that um, huge a person so um, I mean, this is the ideal size uh, pen for her in my opinion so we'll do a bit of a close-up and um, I will just show you how this pen looks okay so the Pelican M uh, 600 now the cap, the cap, um, as you know from my other videos, the cap is uh, not spring loaded, but it's um, one of those uh, standard clips, clips, not cap, sorry. And um, you've got the Suvaro written there, you've got uh, Pelican. And Germany, like most pens that are made in Germany, they really like to advertise that they are made in Germany. Um, it's a piston filler, and um, you won't be able to see it here, but uh, this bit of the pen is uh, semi transparent, so you can actually tell how much, um, I mean, if ink is running out. Um, the nib is. Uh, a very nice looking nib now this is an extra fine and um, it writes a little bit thicker than a medium pilot prayer which um, yeah mm -hmm. would be nicer if it was slightly um, finer but uh, yeah it's a very smooth nib I mean they've been making this pen for a very long time it's uh, um, yeah it's one of those nice things. Now, um, I'm normally very critical of um, clips and caps in pens. Um, even pens that are quite expensive, um, if you look at the clip, I mean on the underside of the clip, like uh, that part there, most pens, um, it's not very polished. I mean, even expensive pens like pens over $200, uh, you can see that, um, like, you know, they have not put in much effort on the underside. Whereas uh, when I opened this up and had a look, the underside looked, uh, yeah, very uh, nice. It's like, you know, well polished and so on. So my wife's calling me. I'll stop this video, come back and carry on. Uh, excuse me.